you're looking at the Rio Grande River. The Rio Grande begins in south central Colorado in the United States and flows to the Gulf of Mexico. The river is dry during the winter months and only flows during summertime so that the water can be used for the vast majority of pecan groves here in the Mesilla Valley. The plants are dormant during the winter time, but when the river flows, you can see how green things become and flowers are forthcoming. All the water that flows down the Rio Grande is held by the Elephant Butte Dam, which was authorized by the United States Congress on February 25, 1905. This is the full moon of April called the Pink Moon and occurs Tuesday, April 7th. With the Oregon Mountains in the background, Rosalind and I are practicing social distancing by walking along the Rio Grande today. This strange flowering plant is called a scorpion plant. You can tell this by looking at the way the blooms are curled like a scorpion. At first, this shot was puzzling, but if you look closely, it's my wife shooting videos along the riverbank. On closer inspection, you'll see that this is a swift's nest built underneath the bridge that crosses the Rio Grande River. It looks quite old as though it has been built over many seasons. Here is an east and west view of the bridge which crosses the Rio Grande River. It's made of steel and concrete. This part of the river is a gathering place for many swifts and ducks that call this home. It looks like other people have the same idea as us. Here is the Roadrunner rest area just off of Interstate 10 as you come into Las Cruces. This is my old 1976 Honda Civic that I've taken out for a drive. Here is a beautiful view of the Oregon Mountains when viewed from the Rio Grande River. Mm -hmm. 
we were fortunate to see a beautiful sunset as the day nears an end. During this COVID-19 pandemic, it was very difficult to find hamburger and other fresh meats on the grocery store shelves. I was craving beef, so we ended up buying this ribeye steak. I knew this was a good cut of beef, so the only thing I did was season it with a little salt and pepper. The coals are good and hot and ready for the steak. A steak dinner wouldn't be complete without a baked potato and sour cream. I wouldn't mind eating this steak all the time, but it's a little out of my budget. Dinner's on the table and it's time to eat.